Hi everyone, Master Liz Yagva, the Naoto Karate Center for Tuesday's Teaching Tips for Tots. Today I want to, I want to talk about being patient with our children. Uh, it's the beginning of the week and I, always am, I am always prepared when the children come from a weekend of excitement that they're going to have this buzzing energy and at the same time they might be exhausted because they had a long day. Monday they have school, they get up early, and they, they work, they're going through their day. So by the time they get to us uh, for karate, they are... Uh, very, very tired and very, very hyper. So that challenges me as an instructor, as a parent, to be patient. And so I want to talk to you about some couple of things that I think of while I'm on the floor teaching children, even with my own children, when they are, um, they have a lot of energy and it's a challenge for them to control that energy. What do I do to help them to stay on track, to stay on task, and push through this moment of, of high energy and maybe fatigue? So one of the things that I do is I make it a point, I make it a, a purpose to be patient. I really communicate with myself to be patient with uh, with my children, with my students. And another thing I do is I, I continue to uh, uh, rem uh, remind myself to breathe and to, uh, again, remind myself to be patient. And uh, the bottom line is that we want to love our children, but you know, love is really, like, a, like they say, love is patient, love is kind, and love is slow to anger. And so we've got to really maintain this composure to always have this sense of calmness and, and communicating calmness. And when the children see that, no matter what's going on, this is what I've learned in all these years teaching uh, children, is that as long as they see me calm and in control that I can manage them and I'll I find tools that I can do the way I speak to them the way I stay calm and sometimes I'll give them an opportunity where they can release that energy then I pull it back sometimes I'll remind them about the consequences that might happen if they continue uh, to not listen and a lot of times what works for me to help them get back on track to stay calm is uh, that what they're doing right now is not very helpful to me. I might say this, hey guys, I know you guys you know, care about me. I know you guys want me to have a great time here being a teacher to you. So right now what you're doing is not really helping me, it's hurting me. So is your energy helpful or hurtful? And this reminds them, gosh, what they're doing. And they really do care for us, they really do love us, and they, they want to show us their best. So I keep myself a, a mindful of staying calm, being patient, staying cool, and, and communicating confidence with them in a very calm way, and then reminding them. And so patience, yes, is a virtue, but we've got to be mindful of that. So that's my uh, teaching tips, uh, Tuesday teaching tips for tots. Be patient, stay calm, stay cool, and uh, communicate this cool confidence. Okay, until next time, have a great day.